weather was a feature of the National Hunt meeting at Cheltenham, and a big crowd spread over the picturesque race course to watch magnificent jumping in a meeting of outstanding brilliance. One of the new objects of interest from the punter's point of view was the two-bob-in-the-slot tote machine. Losing money gets easier every day. Turning to pleasanter topics, let us sit back and enjoy the scene as our cameras give it to you free of charge. It's a curtain raiser to the great race at Aintree. They call this race the Amateur's Grand National, but with four miles ahead of them, they have a professional time to come. On parade, another striking picture as the field of 21 marches by the grandstand up to the start. Can you see anything? Yes, they're off. A wonderful start with Sonny's Halo, Cook's Mate, Gakester and Santac, the favourite, well placed. Now begins the test. Four miles and a score of whirling jumps to thin out the field and flutter the stoutest heart. At the halfway mark, they're still in a bunch and Sonny's halo is up with Wedgwood, Santac and Litigan. And hereabouts, the field is thinning out. On the previous day, four horses were killed at this meeting. Today, there were spills of plenty, but none so serious. Mind that man! Litigan has come to the front. Wedgwood and Santac are battling for second place four lengths away. But Litigan keeps his place. He strides home with enormous power to win. Santac second, Wedgwood third. Litigan wins, a picture of a triumph. Trained by Frank Perlong, son of the man who trained Reynolds Town to win the Grand National twice. The winning jockey is Mr. R. Black. 